In this novel file of video, I'm going to explain the planning considerations that you need to make before you configure net folders for your filer system. When using this video to help you plan net folder creation, we recommend that you also view the setting up net folders section in the filer administration guide. This section contains more detailed information about the planning process. Net folders in filer provide access to files on your corporate OES, Windows, or Netware file servers by synchronizing file metadata. In essence, a net folder is simply a pointer or a reference to a specific folder on a specific file server. It is important to understand the correlation between a net folder server and a net folder. A net folder server is a reference to a specific volume or share. A net folder is a reference to a specific directory within that volume or share. You can set up multiple net folders from a single net folder server. Configuring net folders in a suboptimal way can result in unsatisfactory performance of your filer system. To successfully configure net folders in your filer system, you need to understand the purpose of the net folder server proxy user. How the synchronization method affects performance. How the synchronization schedule affects performance. And finally, the number of files that is reasonable to synchronize for a single net folder. The net folder server proxy user provides access to files and folders within Filer to users who have received access through a Filer share. For example, suppose an internal user wants to give a group of external users access to a folder on the network. In Filer, he shares the folder with the users, and the users can now log into Filer and access the folder from their shared with me area. The net folder server proxy user makes this possible by providing the access to the folder. Anytime the external users access the folder via Filer, it is the net folder server proxy user who provides the access. The net folder server proxy user must have rights to access the files and folders on the net folder. This is important not only for sharing, but also for net folder synchronization. Specifically, the net folder server proxy user should have the rights shown here. Incorrectly configuring net folders can affect system performance. The three main areas that affect system performance, which you need to carefully consider, are the synchronization method, the synchronization schedule, and the number of files associated with a single net folder. You can choose either full synchronization or just in time synchronization for the synchronization method. Full synchronization synchronizes all files and folders from a given net folder either at a schedule that you specify or from a manual action. All files and folders are examined for changes, and any changes are then synchronized. Full synchronization ensures that all items are synchronized. However, it is more time consuming and resource intensive than just in time synchronization. Just in time synchronization synchronizes individual files and folders at the time users access them. Only files and folders that are accessed are synchronized. This reduces the load on the system. However, with this approach it is unlikely that all content will be synchronized, and only the synchronized content will be indexed. Suppose you have three net folders associated with a single net folder server. The synchronization method does not have to be the same for each net folder. It might make sense to not synchronize the net folder server, and implement full synchronization on one net folder, just in time synchronization on another, and perhaps both methods simultaneously for another. There is no perfect implementation that applies to all net folders. Instead, review the data that the net folder is accessing, and consider the following. Is the data static or dynamic? Full synchronization is more appropriate for static data, and just-in-time synchronization is more appropriate for dynamic data. Is there a large amount of data? If so, consider using only just-in-time synchronization, because performing a full synchronization on a large amount of data can consume many resources. Does the data need to be searchable? If so, you must do a full synchronization because content can be indexed only after it is synchronized, and you cannot guarantee that all content will be synchronized when using only just-in-time synchronization. Does the content need to be available from the Filer desktop application? If it does, you must use full synchronization. 
the synchronization schedule that you choose for a full synchronization can also greatly affect the performance of your filer system. Setting a frequent sync schedule can become especially resource intensive if it is implemented on a NetFolder server, because all NetFolders associated with that NetFolder server are subject to the same sync schedule. If your NetFolder or NetFolder server contains hundreds of thousands of files, consider doing only an initial full synchronization of the data, then using just in time synchronization as the ongoing synchronization process. The number of files on a given NetFolder, for which you perform a full synchronization, affect system performance. If you are doing a full synchronization on a given net folder, you should understand the amount of time it will take to complete the synchronization. For example, on a filer test system at Novell, with no indexing, no active users, and no just-in-time synchronization, filer was able to synchronize files to a net folder at the following rate, for the initial synchronization, Filer synchronized 196 files per second, 11,760 files per minute, and 705,600 files per hour. For each ongoing synchronization, when no changes were made to files, Filer synchronized 952 files per second, 57,120 files per minute, and 3,427,200 files per hour. You should take these numbers into consideration as you configure the sync schedules for the net folders on your filer system. To summarize, when configuring net folders on your filer system, be sure to consider the following. The purpose of the net folder server proxy user. How the synchronization method affects performance. How the synchronization schedule affects performance. And the number of files that is reasonable to synchronize. For more detailed information about NetFolder configuration, see Configuring NetFolders in the Filer Administration Guide at novell.com/slash documentation. Thank you for watching.